Today we are going to be comparing the Sullen's Edge 120 to the Parabolics 45. Is this the best brown color para alternative? Let's find out. So first let's take a look at the rendering of the light or how the spread of light is from both umbrellas. As this will be barely telling when we're looking at some of the photos and the results that we're going to be getting. This is the Parabolics, obviously, as per the title there. And this is in my garage. And ideally, a, a parabolic umbrella should be spreading the light like a cone of light forward, right? It shouldn't be spreading around within limitations. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. But that's the idea. Uh, if you can see here, now let's compare to the Selen's Edge 120. And look how, how much more focused the uh, Edge 120 is, where the light is mostly focusing here. And look back at the parabolics. Now, this is a huge difference. And that's going to show when we do some of the comparisons photo later on. Uh, but yeah, that that was the first thing that I figured when I was doing the test. I figured this will happen uh, when I tested against the wall. And yep, uh, look at uh, this left side where the garage door opener is. How much darker it is with the H120 versus the parabolics. So what that's telling me is that the uh, 120 it has a much better parabolic design, a much more like a brown color, and where it's spreading the light forward, the collimated light rays, instead of just spreading around like the parabolics is unfortunately doing a lot more. That doesn't mean that the parabolics is terrible, it's still better than the Godox like we tested on pretty much anything else besides a brown color and the, and the Edge 120, but in the comparison, there's really no comparison. The 120 easily wins. And just for your information, I, I position a Seconic 858D light meter right on the wall in the center spot where the umbrellas were pointing at, just to make sure that we had the exact same amount of light hidden there. So what you're seeing is it's all calibrated to the same amount of power. So now I'll go ahead and take a look at some of the photos that I tested. This first photo, this was a, a photo shoot that I had with a model and I had the parabolic still uh, set up, so I decided to just take a quick shot for a quick comparison. Uh, it wasn't meant to be a full comparison, so that's only one photo that I took, but I wanted to just show you uh, what I'd be, an idea of what this is going to be like when using both of these lights. And this was in the garage, so this uh, more open area, you know, taller, much taller ceiling than my, my basement uh, studio. But still, uh, look at the to her left side or camera right how bright that wall looks, like the, the background gray paper. And now when I change to the Selen's Edge 120, how much darker it is. And that's part of that control that, that the parabolics is lacking versus the Edge 120. To me, this one is more like a splash of light towards that right side, camera right, where it's, it's splashing a lot and it's bouncing. And this one has a lot more control, the rendering of her and everything else to be dimmer as it should be focusing the light where it needs to go. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the catch light here, but you can see a little bit of the catch light as well, where you can see that the parabolics have that dot in the middle and the sun is a much darker core. It reminds me a lot of the Para 1, uh, Para 222, two, two, and I think the 133 does it too. But yeah, this was a quick comparison, probably not the best one, but I just wanted to show you like if you are next to a, like an, a wall like this, the uh, Selen's Edge is going to give you a lot more control than the Parabolics and overall the, the rendering is much more beautiful to my eyes. So um, let's go to another test. So this is a self-portrait that I, I did for this. And on this one, uh, you can see the cache light is going to stay pretty much on the same spot on all the tests. I was trying to be very meticulous about it and use, you know, laser guidance and uh, measurements to make sure that it was very, uh, trying to minimize any variables. So the con constant uh, positioning of the umbrellas or the distance that was the same with both of them, it was very crucial for my test. And in this case, uh, this is in my um, basement studio. And the, the umbrella is positioned to closer to the left wall, which will be on my right side or camera left in this picture. And that's why you see that it's bouncing more light on that side. 
on the parabolics now when we switch to the cylinders we have much more control it offers the cash light is barely moving from the spot on my eyes the same look and yet it is able to control much more the light on that on the, to my to the camera left and this is with position uh, number uh, 16 which creates the dark core and this is position number six which is a bit darker now than the other so uh, unlike the parabolics which they kind of give you their what the numbers are supposed to be for each of them like for the 45 uh, 2.5 is 2.5 is focused for example on the on the southern edge there's no like instructions of what position is what so you kind of like have to figure it out on your own uh, their explanation is that because the different lamps and <coughs> shapes and things like that it might not be very accurate to give them like a guidance like that. So I came up with my own and I prefer 6, 16 and 10 for focus. So this is uh, 6 and 16. And this is the parabolics. Um, just forget about the color differences on the skin. This is just the white balance thing. But the main thing is just the, the way that light is rendered. Like the Seconic light meter was tested on my chin. So that's what I measured. So you can see, even even here, you can tell that the that this one is actually brighter in my chin than this one, because you know, this one seems to be at me more similar and maybe a bit brighter also on the on the cell and's edge. So it seems to be brighter there and on my face than the than the parabolics. Clearly, I think it's brighter, and yet it the background is more controlled. So that's how much better this is as an umbrella, as a, as a parabolic umbrella, how much better it's sending those light rays where I am instead of like spreading all around. And to me, it's just, just like a much more polished product that I get right out of the camera. As you can see here, it looks, uh, I mean, to me, this is so much better. Like instead of just spreading the light all around, it's right here on my face, creating this perfectly nice focus of light with the fall off very nice gentle fall off and i even feel like the skin looks nicer too like without any retouching the pores and everything seems to be feeling even better which is not that i like that too but yeah that's one of the main things that draw me to this and and one of the main reasons i was still looking for a brown color after doing all the tests because i was missing that from the parabolics even though it was still far better than the Godox and the Glow Profound that I tested in my previous video. It was still not as good as the as the brown color. And well, now the story is different. The Salens has done it. Okay, let's uh, check another photo. On this photo is the same position of the light as before. I'm just looking away in this case. Uh, so you're going to expect the same kind of lighting patterns, but I just kind of wanted to see a little bit of one more of an angle on the face to see if some of the light fall off on the shadows. So again, this is the Parabolics 45 as by the label. And look how, to me, look how much better it looks when you switch to the Sullens. It just creates this brilliant focus of light in me and with the darker background instead of this more splashy look. Like all our cross is more splotchy. That's the only word that I can come up with. And this one is so, so much more focused here. Even on the shirt, you can see how this one creates a bit more uh, light around. And this one just focuses right here where I need it to be. And the fall off is very nice. Again, the skin just looks to me better with the with this one as well. Not the color, but the actual texture. And just for reference, this will be with the setting number 16 instead of 6, what I was using there. So this difference is a bit more bright on the 16 overall, but still the control is there. Now, if we look at the cache lights, uh, you can see here the uh, parabolics always had that dot on the middle, that white dot in the center, whereas the Sullens can actually create this much darker core. Now, in fact, it actually can be darker than this. Uh, the things that I forgot to put a plate there to deflect some of the light, so I kind of affected a little bit of the performance. 
I totally forgot about the plate. Yeah, but it's not gonna be a huge difference, but it's still a difference. But even without it, it's this to me. This is just you know from this to this is a, a huge difference, and this will be the one that I will pick anytime. And again, this is what I felt that I was lacking from the brown color. Okay, let's see one more sample of a focus shot. And for the final comparison, let's compare the focus points. And again, the parabolic that will be 2.5 is the focus on the rod for that particular model, the 45. Uh, for the cylinders, there's no no uh, instructions of what is what. So I prefer um, for focus, I prefer 50, 54, and 60, 60 being all the way in as a focus points. Now, this is the parabolics at uh, 45. And as you recall, probably from my previous comparison against the brown color, in many cases, I actually prefer the focus of the parabolics over the brown color. But in this case, I changed my mind now and I prefer the focus on the challenge as well. But your well, opinion may be different from mine, but I'm just telling you what I feel. This is the focus on the parabolics now. Look at the ridiculous light control on this focus. Even though this is focused, look how much more spread of light still gets everywhere. I was surprised that it was spreading the light so much more. Unlike this, I mean, this is brilliantly focused and look at the shadows are hard as it should be with this focus light. I use this for like more fashion or black and white looks, things like that. I want the extra harshness. If I move to 60, it gives me a completely different look. Look at this. This is from 54 to the 60 position all the way. A completely different look from the same uh, umbrella. And in a way, this is a bit more close to what the parabolics is doing, except that there's something it's doing that I love. And it's on the parabolics, the left camera left is brighter where the light is also focusing, right? On the uh, silence, it's actually darker on the left side than the right side. I love that because I prefer the back part of the subject where the light is not to be brighter in any case. Kind of like a sort of like a green light on the background. Uh, the same thing happens here, of course. Uh, but this is all part of that light control. And this one is just spilling so much light against the left wall that it creates this. Whereas this one is focusing the light where it needs to be in the subject. And even as a as a harsh light, it's still a bit softer in overall in the skin. Not as much as the others, but to me, just the light control is the main difference. And as you can see, the catch lights are pretty much spot on on every single photo. So I, I try to minimize any any mistakes like that that could throw the results and not make them very useful. But yeah, I, I have uh, more shots that I wanted to share uh, from another shoot, but unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to make a long story, but something happened with those files and they're all gone. And I didn't want to take too much time wa uh, waiting to post this. I wanted to share this with you uh, as, as soon as possible. So I'm going to be doing a, a showcase of some of the photos that I did on that photo shoot with the model uh, using the parable of uh, the, the Southern's Edge 120. And while I'm showing those photos, I will give you some of my final thoughts on the actual umbrella. Uh, before I start with my thoughts, uh, I wanted to share this one shot of the cache lights. Uh, this is the 35D at the bottom. And as you can see, it doesn't have any center core, like the dark, like the others. And uh, the parabolics gives that sort of a center, but it's darker, but then like around the center is darker, but the center has that bright spot. And then at the top, the Selen's Edge, of course, gives you a darker core. So I figured some of you might like to take a look at that closer. Uh, but then again, you'll be able to download the files and check them out yourselves on your computer. But yeah, the, the brown color and the Selen's Edge have a similar dark core and similar to the Para 222 as well that creates this green light, kind of like cache light, which I like a lot. Okay, so let's keep looking at some of the other photos and my impressions. So as you probably recall from my previous video, one of the reasons I prefer the brown color besides the extra beautiful rendering that it does on the flooded position 
was that it was able uh, it's so much easier to set it up and take it down when you're on the field and for me i like to shoot and move around in different locations and having to set up the parabolics is painful because you have to do all the rods and then all the velcro things and and if it's and if it's cold out there and your fingers are getting numb but it's it gets even harder to do it um but of course the brown color is extremely expensive so even though I was still wanting to get a brown color after my last test, every time I was about to, you know, go and check out and buy one, it was like, oh my, this is so much money. I can use it for something else and I would just not do it. So I kept looking for alternatives and, and from time to time I would get somebody that would send me a message, hey, you should take the Silence Edge. I would like to know their opinion on it. I said, well, I tried before, but I couldn't get one, so... But, you know, that was thought that was still lingering in my head. And one day I saw it on Amazon. I was like, you know what? Let's just give it a shot. It's Amazon. If I don't like it, I will send it back. Nothing lose. And I'm so upset that I didn't do this earlier because Silence Edge was the one. I don't understand why there are no more reviews or more promotion given to this parabolic umbrella. Because this is the one. This is the one that matches what the Broncolor was doing for me at a much cheaper price. Now, now... Granted, this is not a bargain umbrella. This is not a cheap old thing. It's still going to cost you some money, but compared to the brown color, it's way cheaper. And so close to it that I just don't see any differences that I can that make me want to buy a brown color anymore. So I'm officially out of the market for parabolic umbrellas. I'm no longer looking for the brown color. I got the one that I needed now. And like I said, setting up and taking it down is one of the things. And let me show you about the mechanism, how it actually works. Okay, so this is the setup for the Southern Sage 120. Uh, what I like to do is I like to spread the rods like this a little bit. And then it's just like a brown collar where you just grab two opposite levels and then you just pull. So go like this. But then just rotate it to the same. And that's it. You all set up. Much easier than with the parabolics. Contrast, the parabolics is a bit like this. You see, all these rods take to be easy to pull them. So normally I do like two at a time from the opposite ends. And after doing all those, to go and eat all of these velcro straps one by one. So it takes a long time to set up and then take it down and yeah, make sure you stretch this correctly. So this, if you're on the field, it's a little slower. With the other one, it's just a couple of steps. Thank you. So, like I said, this is all a matter of uh, what you want for your work. For my needs, I wanted something that's going to speed up my workflow on the field and on editing. And that what that's what I wanted from the brown color, except for the price tag. And now with the Southern Edge, I have both of those things and at a much lower price. So, you know, from my perspective, okay, if I'm doing this as a professional and I'm, you know, spending a lot of time editing and on the field, I want something that helps me get my shots faster and better. And this is what this parabolic umbrella is doing for me. It gets much more beautiful rendering. Skin looks better. And it's much easier to set it up and take it down when I'm on the field versus the parabolics in this case or other alternatives. And... Again, it's gonna cost you more than your, you know, normal, cheaper alternatives like Glow Profond or something like that. But you're getting a true parabolic for way less money than the brown color, and that is where the value is of the Sevens. Now, I don't have any affiliate links with them, and if I put a link, it's gonna be an Amazon link, just like any other link that I have. So, I have nothing to gain from promoting this, except I just like I did with before when I share with you the parabolics as the best alternative. Now I found one that is actually better at everything except the price, but to me it's worth the extra money on it. And as I've been using it for five or six months already on the field before doing this review, I didn't want to just grab it and do a review. I wanted to test it on the field and quite a bit at a time and see how it holds up and it looks just like new, like it was when I took it out of the box. So. I have uh, I feel very confident of the quality of the build quality of this unit. Now, granted, they might not have the you know the the brand recognition or, or, of a brown color, but I I don't see anything that tells me that it, this is gonna break anytime soon. 
So, but you know, it's your call. If you want to go for the brown color and spend the money, you're going to get a fantastic parabolic umbrella, no question. But if you want to save a lot of money and still get to me 99% of it, of that performance and save a lot of money, then hey, get the Seven's Edge 120. And if you are okay with spending less instead, the parabolics will be the third place in this parabolic umbrella comparison. But I put it like a a third step that is quite below the first two, which are the uh, brown color and the Silence Edge. And of course, the Godox, forget about it, and Glow Profound, forget about it. If you want something that's parabolic, go with at least with the uh, parabolics. But if you have the budget stretched to the 120, I haven't tested the smaller version, the 90, uh, nor I have tested the bigger version. So hopefully I can get Silence to send me one of those for a review. If they like this review, hopefully they will uh, collaborate with me on the next one, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, I hope the photos are worth uh, your time to check them out and figure out if you like what you're seeing. The comparisons, are, I think they're pretty telling, the rendering, the focus of the light, everything. It's very clear why the Edge 120 is the better performer than the Parabolics. And like I said, my quest for a Parabolic Umbrella is over. I found the one. I saved a lot of money. I'm glad I waited just in case. And now I can continue shooting with that peace of mind that I'm no longer thinking about whether I should or not get the brown color. I don't need it anymore. But yeah, I would like to, I would love to get your uh, opinions on what you're seeing. If you want to give this one a shot, if you find something else that you like, um, you will be able to download all the photos uh, from the description, the comparison photos. So you can compare them yourself. And as always, you can always ask me any questions, uh, any requests, that I, any tests that you want me to do. I'll be happy to do it. I still have a Parabolic 35D, so I'm trying. I'm gonna see if I can get at least the 90 from the Seven, so I can compare those two um, to see if the, the the differences are the same as the the 45 versus the 120. But then there's only one way to find out. I will need to test them side by side to make sure. And since that one is about 35 inches, I have a, a beauty dish from Mola, so which is about 36 uh, or so, 32, uh, sorry, 32. So that would be an interesting comparison to do all three. But I, I'm going to see if the silence is interested in sending an I need for a test. So again, uh, make sure to download the files. Let me know what you think. I'm going to be doing some more photo shoots with this from now on. This one I mean pretty much my go-to modifier. So you're going to, every every shoot that I do from now on is mostly going to be using this, so you're going to see a lot more from it. But feel free to contact me if you have any questions. As always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.